In the previous video, we have seen non-access modifiers in Java like static, abstract and final and we have seen static keyword in detail. So this is completed. In this video, we will see some interview questions on static variables, methods, blocks and classes. The first question is what is static keyword in Java? Static means it is a non-access modifier. When we declare something as static, that means it belongs to a class and not to an object. That means we can access that variable or method directly without creating an object. Static keyword can be applied to a variable, method, nested class and initialization blocks or static blocks. So we have seen all the examples of the static variables, methods, nested classes and static blocks in the previous video. What is a static variable? So when we declare a variable as static, that means it belongs to the class and not to an object. And moreover, that static variable is same for all the instances, all the objects. That means all the objects will have the same value the particular static variable has. So we know that instance variables are normally allocated with memory whenever the object is created. But when does the static variables will get access, will get the memory allocated? The static variables are allocated with memory whenever the class is loaded into JVM. In the previous videos, we have seen that JVM contains a method area and a heap memory and a stack memory and two other things. Whenever we want to execute a program, there will be a class loader subsystem here. So this is class loader subsystem. This class loader subsystem will load the class files into JVM. So whenever these class files are loaded, then the static variables will be allocated with memory. So these class variables will be stored in this method area. So all these things we have seen in the previous videos. So when the class variables are allocated with memory, whenever this class subloader, class loader subsystem loads these class files into JVM, then the static variables will be allocated with. And how can we access the static variables? We can act within the same class, we can access them directly. We, we don't need to use an object to access the variables, but if it is in a different class and if we are importing the class that contains the static variables, then we can use class name dot variable name. So this the class name dot this we can use it in a different class if we are accessing the class that contains static variables then we can use class name dot variable name and we don't need to create an instance for the class and the value of the static variable is same for all the instances we have seen it already in the previous video and local variables cannot get assigned as static as it will throw the compiler error illegal start of expression as the memory cannot be assigned during a class load so this is one important thing you have to remember. Let's say I have a class here, which is class action. I have a class here and I have a method here. Let's say void method A. Let's say I have a variable here, which is string text. And I have another variable which is a local variable within the method which is string name. So this is text variable, the string variable text can be made as static, but the local variable cannot be made as static. The reason is whenever we make something as static, it belongs to the class. The reason is Whenever we declare something as static, 
that means it belongs to the class and the memory will be allocated whenever the class files are loaded into memory but whenever if we declare a local variable as static a local variable belongs to a method the method will be allocated with memory in the stack area the method variables will be allocated with the memory in the stack area only when the method is in execution so we cannot have the local variables as static but only the variables outside any method at the class level they only can be static so what is a static variable static variables belongs to the class and static variables are shared by all instances a static variable gets memory allocated only once during the class loading that means whenever the class is loaded then the static variables will be allocated with the memory all the instances of the class share the same copy of the variable a static variable can be accessed directly if it is within the class we can access it directly if it is in a different class then we can use class name dot variable name and we don't need to create any instance of the class value of static variable is common for all the objects local variables cannot be static because local variables will be allocated with memory whenever the method is in execution in the stack memory if we try to assign the local variables as static then they will throw the error illegal start of exception how do we access static members in java so we have already seen this one we can access the static members in java directly without creating an object if it is in the same class we can access it directly if it is in a different class then we have to import the class first the one that has the static members and we can use the class name dot the variable name what is a static method again this is same as a static variable so static method belongs to the class rather than the object and it can be called directly using the class name class name dot method name if it is if the class is being accessed in a different class then we use class name dot method name otherwise we can use directly the method name static methods can access the static variables directly for example i have a class here which is class action and i have a static variable here static int a and i have normal instance variable which is int b now i have a static method here which is static void display this is a static method here and i have another normal method which is void show so now i can access these static variables directly in this class because this is static so i can directly call a that means sys out sys out a but if i want to call this one this is an instance variable so i need to first create an object for this one so action act is equal to new action then only i can call sys out a c t dot b because b is an instance variable so i need to create an object first and from this method i can directly call this static method directly i can directly say display i don't need to create an object for this one because this is a static method similarly the static variable also i can directly call it as sys out a but again for calling this object for calling this instance variable it be i need to create an object here and then using that object i can call this one so a static method can access the static variables directly and it cannot access the non static variables because that is an instance variable and we need to create an object for accessing this non static variables and also it can access the other static methods directly and for accessing the non static object methods we can again create an object only the main method which is static and the main method will always be static normally in our programs the main method will always be 
study because it will be called by the JVM automatically because the main method has to be executed whenever the class loads. So main method will always be static and only main method which is static will be called by the JVM automatically. That's why the main method is always static because main method has to be called automatically. That's why we mentioned the main method as static. And another thing is not all the static methods will be called automatically. So if we have other methods which are static, they won't be called automatically. We have to call them from the main method or using uh, or from other methods. Can static methods access instance variables? We cannot access them directly. But to access an instance variable, we need to create an object. If we try to access them directly, we will get a compilation error saying cannot make a static reference to a non-static field name. So this is the error we get. So in order to access the non-static fields from a static method, we have to create an object. Though static methods cannot access the instance variables directly, they can access them using instance handler. When are static variables loaded into the memory? So this one we have already seen it. Whenever the class is loaded into the memory, then the static variables will be allocated with memory. Whenever we want to execute a program, the class loader subsystem will try to load the class files into JVM. So at that point, the class variables, the static variables will be allocated with memory. Can a static block exist without main method? Yes, we can have a static block without main method. Can we overload static methods in Java? So what is overloading? Overloading means we have already discussed it in the previous videos. Overloading is having two methods with the same name, two or more methods with the same name, but with the different parameter types. So static methods also can be overloaded. That means we can have two static methods with the same name and with the different parameter types. So the answer is yes, you can have, you can overload a static method in Java. Can we override static methods in Java? This override concept, it, it comes in uh, inheritance, so which will be covered in the future videos. But for now, just remember that we cannot override static methods in Java. That means we cannot have the same methods that are static in the parent class and child class. The main method is declared as static. So this is one of the uh, important interview questions. Why we declare main method as static? As we discussed all this time, static means the memory is allocated whenever the class is loaded into JVM. And we need the main method to be executed before instantiation of the class. That means before we create any object. This is the first method that the execution should start at some point so that is main method so when we declare main method as static when the class is loaded into memory then itself the memory for the main method will be allocated and it starts executing that's why we declare the main method as static always if main method is not declared as static then jvm has to create an object first and it has to call that object to execute the main method to start running the execution from the main method and it involves an extra memory allocation that's why we always declare main method as static what is a static block so we have already seen a seen an example for this one in the previous video static blocks are used to initialize the static variables in a class and how do we declare a static block? Just use the keyword static and use open curly braces and closed curly braces. Static blocks will be called only once while loading and it cannot have a written type. We don't have any written type for blocks. We just have the static keyword. Can we have multiple static blocks in our code? Yes, we can have multiple static blocks. They will be executed in the same order that is written. That, that means, let's say I have three static blocks which is this is static first one and this is static second one and this is static third one so this will be executed first and this will be next and this will be the third one what is a static class so we have seen an example for this one in the previous video static classes only nested classes can be static 
nested classes means classes within another class so only nested classes can be static and the top level classes they cannot be static that means let's say i have a class here class a and i have another class which is declared within this class a which is class b so only this class can be static and we cannot have this top level class as static and these nested static classes they can access the static variables of the outer classes directly and they cannot access the instance variables they can access only the static variables but not the instance variables of the outer class can constructors be static in java we have already discussed that static means the memory will be allocated whenever the class is loaded into the memory but a constructor is something that is called whenever an object is created so there is no meaning in assigning a static keyword to a constructor let me explain you this clearly so when we say something static that means memory will be allocated during class loading itself class loading into memory but a constructor it will be called whenever an object is created that means first the class will be loaded and whenever the object is created then a constructor will be called so there is no point in assigning static keyword to a constructor in this video we have seen some interview questions on static keyword if you want to download these interview questions you can go to my github repository at subpostec and go to selenium iphone java iphone tutorials and this particular one starts with 11a so search with 11a and this is the one java non access modifiers static variables methods blocks and classes interview questions in the next video we will see some more interview questions about these static variables methods blocks and classes